all right how's it going it is another video have some lures have the ultralight and we're gonna try and catch some fish so i got about an hour to fish we're gonna come out here see what we can catch enough chit chatting let's get to rigging got the bronco blade tied on let's make sure our drag is set right we'll do a couple casts here and then we'll start walking around cast it out just start reeling it in i gotta walk sideways so you guys can actually see the action i also gotta make sure i don't fall over oh got one yep yep what is this oh no he spit it gum. had one it might have been a crappie. Maybe he had the lure. Man. Righty tighty lifty loosely. Gotta tighten up that drag a little bit. Let's try that again. That looked like a crappie. Which makes sense. Crappies love this setup, the gold blade and the uh the mule minnow. I don't know if any of y'all have ever fished with some jig spinners, but they're so much fun. They're essentially little tiny spinner baits. So if you're a traditional bass fisherman or you've been bass fishing and you've thrown some spinner baits around, it's a small version of that and I love it. Um, I particularly like these Bronco blades because they are just a little bit more durable and high end than your standard jig spinner. Like nothing wrong with some Eagle Claw jig spinners. Don't get me wrong. I have tons of those. Um, and that's what I started using at first, but I like the swivels. They spin a little bit better. So if you're looking for some decent jig spinners that, you know, aren't uh, super expensive, these are great. These are great to use. Man, I'm a little bit upset that we didn't catch that fish. But at least I know we're on the right track now. Just gotta see if we can catch another one or hook up to another one. Cause we're not gonna count that one. That didn't count as a catch. Didn't touch my hands. Now, if I would have brought it out the water and it hit the ground, I'll count that, but not unless I get it out the water. I'm seeing like a lot of movement. I don't know if that's just the wind playing tricks on me, but I'm seeing like streaks going across the water right underneath the surface, like fish are moving, but it's hard to say. What's going on in your world guys hmm you getting out fishing is the fish biting getting good is it still warm you still iced out did anybody even get ice i feel like the ice fishing season oh i mean i don't know i feel like the ice fishing scene on youtube was pretty much non-existent this year because it was so warm well if you had ice how was the ice if you didn't have ice and you normally have ice did you get out and try and do some open water fishing? What was the plan? I know there are people who look forward to ice fishing season all year. I also know there's people that dread ice fishing season. So maybe that was cool for you that you didn't have to deal with the ice this time around. Oh, that felt like a bite. I should have waited. I should have waited. I probably pulled it out of its mouth. I'm going to cast it right back out there. Try not to get snagged up in this tree above me. Do a couple more. Start moving it around. I don't know, I feel good about this spot. Could be wrong. Got one. Got a little guy. There we go. Little bluegill. First fish. There we go. Oof. He is cold. Check him out. Nice. We're going to unhook him, put him back. There we go. First fish. I had a feeling. I had a feeling there was going to be fish around here. Nice little bluegill. 
like I said, I haven't been able to get out as much lately. New baby and all. Normally by now, I would have been out a few times. At least once a week. Um, now, so far this year, this is my second time getting out. And, you know, it is what it is. I like fishing. I like coming out. I like being out. But there's responsibilities you got to take care of. You got to take care of them. Seasons of life, you know, all that. Ebbs and flows. But when I get out here, you might see more ultralight fishing. I mean, <laughs> I, I say that, but, you know, this channel is basically built on ultralight fishing. With some learning bass fishing stuff mixed in but you're probably gonna see more ultralight fishing than last year just because when I do come out I want to give myself the best chance to catch fish so just be aware if you're here for the bass fishing content um, I'm not saying that you won't see it but more often than not I'm gonna be holding an ultralight rod I'm hoping to get a couple more kayak trips this year and then last year um, I know it didn't seem like it, but last year, technically, I only got on the kayak once, even though I was able to squeeze out, I think I got like three or four videos out of that one trip. Um, I was only able to really get out once, which it's a bummer, but it's better than none. Um, and that's just due to timing things. It was a busy year last year. I did a lot of travel for work, but this year, Hoping to travel, uh, hoping to get out and kayak fish more. Hoping to do a tournament this year. I wanted to do a tournament last year, but never really got a chance to do it. The schedules were never really lined up. Oh, that felt like a fish. Got a couple little tugs right there. There was something small. Oh, I got my, uh, my BFS gear in. That's exciting. Last time we talked, I was saying how I wanted to get into BFS. Ordered some reels. Well, they finally came in. It didn't take too long, actually. They weren't supposed, they weren't scheduled to come in till um, next week, but they came a little early. And yeah, they came from overseas, which is kind of the delay, but um, can't get everything on Amazon, especially not BFS gear. And if you do get it on Amazon, might not be the best stuff but um these were good haven't cracked them open they were got them from uh looking at well no i should say i got one from angling with aaron's videos he was talking about it i don't even remember the actual name but i saw him talking about it how it's a good budget um bfs reel it's got two spools on it um so i went ahead and ordered that one and then I ordered the uh, Casking Zephyr, which is a popular, I would say, US-based BFS reel, just to compare the two and see um, what gives, really. Like, am I going to be good at this or not? So um, I always try to pick up one or two things every year, try and learn something, keep fishing interesting every year, so... BFS will be it this year. I don't know if I'll stick with it. It really depends on how I like it. I'm a huge fan of spinning gear. So we'll see. It looks like it's starting to rain. Getting a little sprinkling going on. That could be good. Alright. We're making a change. Let's get my tackle box out. My mule fishing tackle box. This is why I love having this thing. Nice pre-rigged, ready to go. Just gonna put that there. Pull that bad boy out. Alright. Casty casties. Let's see. I can't even begin to tell you how many times people tell me that I should fish, that I should stop fishing certain things because it's quote-unquote not fun. Not fun for you, maybe. I'm having a great time. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. I had a couple bites just now. They let it go. I think I missed it, whatever it was. Might have been a bluegill. If it was a bass, it didn't take it. It didn't like what it bit. I was waiting to see my line start moving. I felt those two thumps. I felt thump, thump. But I was waiting to see my line start going to the side. Never happened. 
there are plenty of times where I will feel the first thump and then I will just set the hook and all of a sudden I'm losing the fish so I'm trying to avoid that slowing it way down back on my other point on uh people just letting other people fish um if you bass fish with live bait you suck no i'm kidding no if you bass fish with any, with live bait go ahead do you man got one hello there we go whoa those geese came right over got a nice another little bluegill right here on the burrow bug took a minute Set the hook on him like he was a bass. I thought he was a bass. Come here, buddy. Oh, I got him twice, actually. There we go. He's cold. They're very cold right now. Beautiful little guy, though, I'd say. Nice, nice colors. Let's put him back. That might have been a bit. I didn't think that's what it was. But I felt two thumps. I took it. two fish three bites no four bites actually four bites two fish not the best hookup ratio but not the worst either it's getting down to the bottom we're gonna try and grab this little pack of fruit snacks right here uh, uh, yep i knew it somebody's out here having themselves a little snack nothing wrong with having a snack just you know clean up after yourself you know don't don't be a litter bug. Nobody likes a litter bug. That's a snag. That's a snag if I know a snag. Daggum. Let's do this thing. Let's see if there are any bass hanging out over here. We're bluegill. I don't know. I'll take anything. But I really want a bass. Just one. Maybe two. A nerf dart just hanging out over here. You gotta be kidding. I finally catch a bass and my battery dies. I need, so I am actually connected to an external battery bank, but I haven't charged it at all in months. And it said I had two dots left, but I guess I two dots is not as much as I thought it was because it just died on me after an hour of fishing. And I finally caught a bass. What a bummer. If I would have known that, I would have at least recorded with my phone before I sent it back, but Nice little quarter pounder with cheese. Uh. All right, before the camera dies, this thing's on 8%. Thank you guys for watching. Happy fishing. God bless.